a habitat enclosure or slash sanctuary for the horses the new horses part of the conservation park and the first thing i needed to do was create the foundation of this build the barn the main focus point of this habitat and where our horses are gonna go for the hard shelter i did this by creating well mainly wood pieces added like a stone base added some custom doors to the side and then going on inside you can just see at the top there i've also added a custom um what would you call it custom white glass automatic roof and then inside we're adding some barriers of the actual barns themselves and some barn doors just giving it that realistic aspect we do end up adding a lot more props as well towards the end um, props what was introduced in the conservation park it just works really well with like a barn scenario i can see a lot of people creating barns recently um and yeah i just kind of jumped on the bandwagon and then after i've done that one side and i've done that barn door using these black rod pieces just filled them in and duplicated it over and then i could just swap it to the other side as well and then adding the props in as you can see some buckets spades and everything else you would expect of the inside of a barn including here and then at the barn door itself Again, just added the same kind of wood to be using. These actual wood strips, these uh, what you can see me adding here for detailing, they are part of the conservation pack also. And as I build this fence, and you can watch me build it here, tell me, are you happy with the conservation pack? Have you got the conservation pack? Do you like the animals? Do you like the building pieces? Personally, I really am enjoying playing and building with the new pieces of this pack. We've got over 150 new building pieces and they're all pretty damn good, I must say. Um, so yeah, I mean, especially these wood pieces you can see me here. You can see me here. You can see me using here for these fence. They've actually got like grains in them. So you can actually see like the woodwork and the, the grain of the wood, which it, the, the attention to detail is just absolutely amazing. And it makes anything just look that little bit more realistic when building like barriers and adding detail into buildings and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. Are you happy with it? Drop a comment down below. Let me know. And if you want this build, as always, I always say it, everything I build is put on my Steam Workshop page. And the link to do that will be in the description also. So if you want this habitat yourself, would you call it habitat? Sanctuary, really? I've named it Sanctuary. It's a bit of a habitat, isn't it? Um, then you can get it in your own zoo. Just click on the link down below. Um, I've tried to add quite a lot of foliage in this build as well. And I've tried to keep it as realistic as I possibly could. And I wanted different kinds of foliage. And obviously wanted the new foliage. What came in the conservation park. I really want to explore the park with this build. And this is my, uh, my first habitat for any animal within the conservation park. I will be creating... Uh, habitats for every single animal so if you want to see stuff like that and you want to see habitat for all the animals in the pack then if you're new around here then hit that subscribe button and you might as well hit that like button while you're there and if you already subscribed thank you and you might as well hit that like button as well if you are liking the video content of course if you're not liking the video content then just drop a dislike i don't care at this point um yeah again just adding a little bit more details like this lovely wheelbarrow again part of the conservation pack just adding more details and more details and more details of course adding a little brush here adding um you can see it over the window there i've added like a little planter as well i just thought it looks really cute really uh, I didn't really have much reference images either. I kind of just went with it and winged it with this build, to be honest with you, even being totally honest. I'm just getting the path in, in now and getting the barriers in now. I did initially worry that the horses wouldn't have enough uh, traversable space and that to complain, but it turns out they was totally happy with the, the amount of space and it is very sufficient for them. So, yeah, I'm very happy it came out that way. Um... You see me just playing about with the path now. I tend to like getting the paths in first, really. I like getting the paths and the barriers in first and then just working it around it. And then thinking about a main focal point. This time it's the barn, as you can see. Um, and then adding foliage and then adding rock work and stuff like that. And then the habitat, um, actual items, you know, the enrichment items for the animal. And then banging the animal 
in and it just seems to come together that's the, the way i like to do it anyway that's not the way you like to do it that's fine but i just feel like that works the best in general and um, you can see me just adding these little foliage items here as well just playing about with the foliage adding some of those lovely what, what they called sunflowers there's this one i nearly said daisies but they're not daisies but we have got daisies now but yeah, them are sunflowers, just adding the lovely sunflowers. I just think, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Honestly, Planet Zoo really do amaze me. Every pack, everybody always says, this is the best pack. This is, no, this is the best pack every time a new pack's released. But honestly, there's something about this pack what feels different. I think a lot of thought has gone into this pack. More thought than normal. And I'm loving the prop pieces, the brushes and the, and the shovels and stuff like that. It just... It's so versatile and can be used so much in backstage areas of habitats as well. So let's have an overlook of everything I've added. You can see the fences are in, the basic foliage is in, and you see this little bit of water over here. So let's go over there. Just added some mud, mud surrounds, and it's like a drinking point for the horses, slash a little bathing point. And then let's add some foliage, shall we? And you can see how it all comes together by doing it this way as well. All the foliage is in. Add a little bit more foliage, with a bit more heavy, dense foliage with trees. A little bit of rock work here and there. Not a lot, though, I do admit. Then I went, I went off grid a little bit here and kind of made like a separate like plant area. I don't really know why, I just thought it looked good. And then added a little like um, shelter for guests as well. So let's take a closer look at that. You can see I've included some lights underneath as well. These are the new lights in the conservation pack. I just think they look absolutely brilliant. So here's how it looks from an aerial view now complete. The horses are in. So let's take a closer look at the habitat itself with the horses. You can see all the foliage when it's all come together with the fences looks really realistic and authentic. Let's take a little look around. There's a horse just actually running into the barn itself. Lucky I caught that. The barn doors look amazing. I'm really happy with how the barn came out looking. We've got our area for our guests to chill out in, as well as some nice little cute lighting underneath that area. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Also, the detail inside looks really good. Just let's have a look inside. There's a horse again in the barn. All the hairs in there, all the little details and the props are in there from the conservation park. I'm really happy with this build, I really am. Let's have a quick look at the actual like like main area where the horses will, will be galloping around. There's another two beautiful horses. These horses are absolutely beautiful. All the foliage work there in, as well as some bricks just coming underneath the fence a little bit and the little water pool. Brilliant, really happy with it. And here I will include some lovely pictures, what I took of the habitat. Again, if you want it yourself, and the link to my Steam Workshop is down in the description, as well as all my social media links and all that jibber jabber. My name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you're new on here, then hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if everyone watching this, if you're still around at the end of the video right now, hit that like button. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.